Welcome to January indeed. It's cold this morning. Just had to scrape both the cars, put the bins out. <clears throat> Don't want to go out when it's like this. I want to stay in bed. Are you sure you want to go out, Harry? Oh, all right then. Sure? <laughs> So I do like snow, I like the cold weather, but I don't like it when I have to get up really early and go to work in it. I much prefer it if I was going for a nice snowy walk or something. But now I've got to drive, I've got to clear the cars, all that kind of thing, which I've done now, thankfully. And I've got to go to work, but I think it'll all be gone by lunchtime. <laughs> oh shoot, I've had a notification saying that I'm low on oil. How have I only just noticed that my oil is as low as it is? I've literally got to go and fill oil up immediately after I've done my first two calls because they're quite close together. I hope it hasn't saved telling me that for when I've got no chance of filling it up. <sighs> Goodness sake. Right, well I'm at Halfords, but I don't know if I need oil now. It's not showing now that it's low. It seems to be on half. And yet I had a message pop up this morning saying that I'm low on oil. So am I just going to go in and just get someone to check my oil for me? I don't know, they might be busy. But that is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> uh -huh, so I do need oil. It's only a third full. So he recommends popping it up. I hate spending money on my car. Especially when I'm squeezed. That's one of the oil as well. We've only got that one there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You'd have just paid 50p more for it if you ran those. 15 pounds sure. for that. Sure. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I've just had that done. It did need oil, so I'm really relieved it's done. He was ever so fast as well, no messing around. So yeah, job done. All right, happy new year. Uh, it's January, it's the 18th already, and I know I haven't videoed or anything since Christmas. Um, it's just been a busy time, just sort of getting adapted to the whole new year. So happy new year to everybody. Happy new year to my neighbors, viewers. This is the year that Neighbours is coming back. Woohoo! So I'm super excited about that. In fact, last night I saw a clip of Harlow, um, Gemma Donovan in Hollyoaks, which I don't actually watch at all, but I did tune in just to see her arrive on her motorbike and do a, you know, do a thing with her hair. <coughs> But generally, I don't really watch Hollyoaks, so I'm not really going to be watching that. I'm kind of hoping she might, in the end, just maybe do a short contract with Hollyoaks and further down the line return as Harlow, because that's who she is, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. So there's a lot of stuff going on already in the news. I'm not going to go into too much of it, but literally today, a helicopter has crashed containing... Zelensky staff in Ukraine. I'm just so sad to hear that because obviously it's just such a terrible, sad thing to happen. I don't understand why helicopters just crash like that, who are not supposed to crash. It's just an absolute tragedy and it must be so devastating for Ukraine's efforts to, you know, drive Russia out and just bring peace back. So I feel really, really sad about that. And you know, there was a plane crash in Nepal a few days ago as well and oh, just awful you know I just it's such the world is not a happy place is it even with a new year there's always some horrible stuff going on so just stay safe people whatever you're doing and just treasure every day and live every day for you know for what it is but yeah happy new year um I don't do as many videos but I will you know try and do some sometimes 
uh, it is good to be back. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm outside next at the moment, but I'm not actually going to go in. I haven't really got time after being at Halfords. And I've got another client at 11 o'clock, a new one that I've not even met before. Um, things might change a bit for me this year. I'm actually thinking of getting a new job while well, I'm actively applying for new jobs. I had an interview last week, but I didn't get the job. Nah. Um, I've just applied for another job. I think I just need a bit more stability, a bit more routine. I love being a carer, genuinely, but it's just such an erratic work pattern. And I feel like I want to sort of slow that down a bit. But if I can still do some calls for my company, I would absolutely love to be able to do that. Because I do like caring, and but I just feel that I need a change. So I'm actively looking for jobs right now. So if you're a prayer, pray for me that the right thing comes up, that the right doors of opportunity open. So yeah, have you guys got any resolutions for this year? Is there anything apart from Neighbours? <laughs> if you're a Neighbours fan that you're looking forward to this year. Um, I'm hoping to do a bit more travelling. I mean, I went abroad last year to California, but I haven't been on any other trips and that's nearly 12 months ago. So I'm looking forward to just going away in March and then again in April and yeah we'll see what happens really but yeah have a great day all right so I just popped into Touchwood got a few little bits to do and I'm gonna see if I can see Connor because he now works at Goldsmiths yeah, I can just about see him down the bottom Cleaning never ends. There's always a shed load of recycling. Let's get all this crap out. For goodness sake, I blame you, Harry. So Marcus is working from home. He does not like me vlogging him. So if I go and talk to him, he's probably going to say something really stupid. But we'll test the waters anyway. Hello, Charlie. So Marcus's office is downstairs now. We decided it wasn't really working being upstairs in the bedroom combined with sleeping. Is it better down here than it is upstairs? Yes, it's better downstairs. I can breathe. You can breathe. Yeah. But we've got to have the heating on. We've got a little heater like that because obviously, like most people, we've cut down on using the radiators because the bill is ridiculous. So we've just got a little fan in here. So this is the only warm room in the house, Mark. Yes, it's also <laughs> why I've been sleeping down here instead of in my own bedroom. Oh, ice warm buckets. Yeah. I was trying to talk about resolutions and stuff, but I don't think I've got any. Have you got any resolutions, Mark? Do less cocaine. <laughs> Have you got any? No, get swole at the gym. Oh, Marcus, I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> He's such a rascal. He doesn't like it when I'm vlogging, to be fair. So he says things he shouldn't say just to annoy me, because that's the way he uh, So I've just been home for a bit. I've got to go out again now. It's just non-stop. I've got to go to Tesco. Obviously, the cost of living crisis is really crunching. I just find that the shop is just so much more expensive and just it doesn't feel like I'm getting anything for my money. I just really hope that this war in Ukraine ends. I hope that inflation comes down. I hope that the government can do more or businesses that, you know, supply. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this has got to change. The gas bill is insanely high. Food is ridiculously high. I feel like I've never got any change left from anything now. Um, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I'm not enjoying not having any money at all, really. But I know people are worse off than I am, and people are better off than I am. So it's just one of those things, you just got to roll with it. But anyway, I am going to Tesco's to go and get today's shop and for dinner tonight. I've decided that I'm going to cut meatballs. We haven't had meatballs in a really long time, so I'm actually looking forward 
for doing a meatball dinner. How rock and roll. <laughs> Home. Are you home early? No. I thought you were finishing half past five. Four thirty. All right. How was today? Four forty-nine. Did you sell lots of expensive watches? Mm. What is it? Just want some cash it. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Unlucky. Oh. I bet it's you, isn't it? I don't think Harry would poo right outside our door. I'm surprised you have though. Cheeky little bugger. <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasant surprise to come home to. <laughs> what a welcome home. <laughs> There's the guilty one. It's you, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> Alright, so what is this then? Good energy, mighty ginger and chili shot. Alright, so you've got to knock it back in one. You don't mind these, so you can't. I did it yesterday and it was very hard. Okay, go on then, Mark. <laughs> Verdict? That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I need some milk. <laughs> Earlier con, I asked Marcus if he had any New Year's resolutions and he basically doesn't have any. Have you got any? Too many. Like Too what? Many. Um, I don't want to tell you all, but the first one would be my diving licence. Okay. So I can scuba dive. Okay. This is the ginger one, by the way. <laughs> yeah? Why does he want to be friends with that cat outside? I don't know. It's very hostile. Mm. Yeah, so your scuba diving licence. Yeah, that would be really cool. Do you know it's a year since he skydived? Yeah. A whole year? Mad. Crazy. Mm -hmm. 